Hello, my name is Stephanie Barham and I am your instructor for ADMS 112 Office Procedures. Today we will go over uh, course setup, where you can find assignments, uh, the course syllabus and schedule, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, first off, I'll tell you some background about myself. Um, I've been teaching at CWI for seven years now. Um, I have my Master's of Business Administration uh, from the University of Phoenix. I've previously taught other courses at, here at CWI, so you may have had me in another course. I've taught the Introduction to Business and Business Software Applications, um, so there's a good chance that you've had me in other courses. Um, I've also had the opportunity to live overseas. Uh, we lived in Germany for four years and Japan for three. Uh, my husband was in the Air Force, so we had the op that opportunity. It was amazing. I highly suggest if you have that chance to take it and go overseas. A lot of things are different over there than um, they are here. Some for the good, some for the better, um, but it's a great experience. Uh, I also have two daughters. One's four and one's nine. Um, they keep me busy and on my toes all the time. I have eight chickens, one duck, five dwarf Nigerian goats, uh, two dogs, and two cats on our little homestead out in Cuna. Uh, it's only an acre, but we have fun with it. Uh, so enough about me. Let's look at the course. Uh, each week, I will be posting announcements for you guys. So I've got the class pulled up right here. So there's one for week nine. Um, that's the current week that we're in right now. Um, there's our week three announcement and some week two announcements. So what I normally try to do is I try to post the dates of when assignments are due, when they open, when they're due, and then also the assignment, where it's located, and depending on the assignment, maybe a brief um, summary of what you guys will do. So for example, on week one, uh, I've got the vocabulary week one. Each week you'll find new vocabulary assignment on Blackboard. Um, and then it's got the reading and then discussion board posts there. The next tab we're going to look at is the syllabus and schedule tab on Blackboard. They, once it loads here, the syllabus and schedule is posted for your review. Please take a look at these items. I have it open here on another tab as well. So all my contact information is available um, up here on the top. So my email, my office phone number. Uh, this, for this course, it is the ADMS 112 Office Procedures. Um, I've got my office hours listed on here. If you need something in addition to what is listed, please send me an email and we can set something up. Um, my office is in Nampa, but if you need to meet in at the Ada County campus, I'm more than willing to go to the Ada County campus and um, meet with you guys. So this, these classes the ADMS classes are all online, so make sure that you do have a reliable laptop, computer, somehow to participate in class. Um, there's also libraries and um, the on-campus computer labs are available uh, during the week as well. So I'm not going to go over everything in the syllabus because I figure you guys can read through it yourself and let me know if you have any other questions about that. We do use um, two different textbooks for this class. So we use a quick filing reference, which is just a little kit that you guys will um, use for our filing unit. And then we also use the book Procedures and Theories for Administrative Professionals. Um, it has a lot of great information on um, how to conduct business, um, while in an office setting and then also towards the end of the class we'll get into your resumes and things like that. So the rest of this is just all the general stuff that is in the normal syllabus but please take a look at it. Our next tab that I have open here is the schedule. It's the schedule that's listed on Blackboard. So this is going to be 
very important for you guys to review each week so you know what is going on in the class. Um, I have everything broken out by the week and then has the dates listed underneath it with the assignments and generally where they're located. Um, this class, all the assignments are going to be in Blackboard with the exce exception of the uh, filing assignments. Those take you to an outside website, but there is the, li the link listed on that assignment folder, and I will show you guys that here in just a few moments. So just make sure you are checking this it's got all the dates and time uh, dates for everything. Remember, assignments are open from Saturday at 12 a.m. until the next Sunday at 11:59 p.m. So you have two weekends to work on homework. Um, because of that, I don't normally take late work. Make sure you're scheduling your life and getting your time management skills under control so you can get your assignments done on time. So going back to the Blackboard course, the most important, the next most important tab that you guys are going to be visiting, probably more so than any other tab on the course, is going to be the weekly learning modules. Within the weekly learning modules, you're going to have new weeks pop up all the time. So right now, we've got a few of the weeks popped up for about half the class. Um, as we progress through, more weeks will pop up. So going into week one, this is kind of going to show you what to expect each week. Um, we've got our vocab on here, so our week one vocab. I've posted the list of words so you can look them up and add them to a Word document. And then once you go into the assessment, which is really just three questions that are blanks for you to put the definition and the sentence in, um, you can just copy and paste them quickly into that. So that is our first uh, part. This class uses modules. And so you'll see there is a table of contents off to the side here to switch to different items. So the vocab is not the only thing. Uh, there is also workplace is constantly changing. So when you click on that, it will reload. And we have a PowerPoint listed on that. Each week there are also chapter outlines listed. These are not required. All right, so just to repeat that, I had a little bit of a glitch with the video. The outlines are not assignments that you're required to do, but they are good for um, reviewing for different assessments. So there's from your book. And there's a midterm and a final uh, assessment for this course. So um, it's good to know that they're there and you can use those as a study resource. Um, the next two sections, uh, we've got a secretary from the 1960s. It's a short um, video. And then, and then we also have chapter eight, which is also the reading for this week as well. So as I'm clicking on the chapter eight, it is having some issues with loading right now. Um, it does work for you guys. It's just not working, I think, because I'm recording with webcam and with the screen share. Um, so make sure you guys are reviewing each of the weekly um, assignments and going over the readings uh, for each week. Uh, the main tab that you guys are really going to be using is going to be that weekly modules tab. So make sure you're following along, getting all the assignments turned in on time, and um, following with the due dates. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me an email um, and let me know if we need to meet in person. Um, again, I'm more than willing to either go to the Nampa campus or the Ada County campus, whichever one is easiest for you guys. I know some of you, some students have transportation issues. So just let me know.
Um, and I'm looking forward to a great semester with all of you. Um, good luck. <laughs>